pillow. It's 5.30 p. I I mean, a.m. in the morning. See? Like, um... Y'all trying to make it like, oh, I don't believe she homeless. She pretend homeless. She fake homeless. And stuff like that. No, I'm really out here with my sleeping bag and suffering and struggling out here in the cold. And, you know, I don't care what you narcissistic perps think. I don't need y'all permission. I do not need y'all permission. You know, some of y'all who are perping me and treat me like I don't have a right to stay in a hotel. Y'all freaking younger than me. Y'all fake T.I. perps and regular perps. Y'all younger than me. And, you know, y'all almost like freaking children compared to me. And y'all freaking early 20s trying to, you know, dictate my life. And so I'm forced against my will to be out here on the streets. Damn it, today I'm so cold that, damn it, today I'm going to go and try to find another hotel or motel or something to stay at. I mean, I haven't got to have a shower in eight days. And, you know, I haven't got to have a shower in eight days. And, um, you, you know, it's like y'all want me to freeze to death. So, I mean, I'm not committing any crime to, to have the desire to want to try to stay safe, warm, and dry. I'm going to try to, you know, find me a different cheap hotel or motel. And, um, you know, y'all don't have a right to say anything. I mean, I don't even know. I, I probably still only have enough for a week. But it won't be that $40 a night thing, you know. So, I mean, the guy from the um, dishwashing job said he was going to contact me last night. But I don't know if he's going to wait till today or if I'll, if he might do like the cell phone guy if I'll never hear from him again. Because I saw, I don't remember if it was red or burgundy, that car that was waiting like right after. And I don't even know if he went and told the dishwashing guy if he told him something about me or um or what. So, it's like... They want to, like, the narcissistic fake T.I. person want to falsely accuse me of living in luxury and stuff. And, and now that I'm back on the streets, they're sitting there fucking laughing. You ain't going to be truly targeted. That's how I know you're a fake targeted perp. Because you're, gonna, you're not going to sit there and, and laugh at another targeted individual's suffering. Y'all claim to be targeted, but then you act like a perp, but then y'all get more recognition and people believe y'all lies more than they believe the truth of us really suffering. And, and, and the fact that certain real targeted individuals I can't connect with because they either have bad personalities or they're bossy and controlling. Or they, um, you know, they supposedly suspicious of everybody and don't trust anybody. You know, so... That's a thing that's making it hard for me to get to, I mean, for people to get, you know, trust me or me to get to um, connect with other TIs. I mean, people, and it's like people refuse to respect the fact that, okay, we're here in Pensacola. I already feel like it's unbearably cold. Why the fuck would you want me to move to Akron, Ohio, or Chicago, Illinois, or you want me to move to um, Pennsylvania, or something like that. And I don't like the fucking West Coast either. Nothing about the West Coast. I don't like I don't like the West Coast and I don't like up north. I don't I can't handle cold weather. I can't even handle this. And it's supposed to be like 50 degrees or something like that. <clears throat> you know, so I think I have about enough up for about a week in a hotel or a place to live. I've reached out to numerous people on Craigslist for trying to rent a room the day before yesterday or or maybe Tuesday or Wednesday. <clears throat> and one person tried to scam me and the rest of them ignored me and never responded back. 
And I'm pretty sure I put out at least a minimum of 10 inquiries, you know, inquiries. You know, I asked at least 10 people, plus I put out an ad on Craigslist, no responses. <clears throat> so, since I'm wrongfully and unfairly, for no reason, banned forever from that fake Everman place, it's like I'm going to have to freeze and stay cold for a couple of hours, but I can't stay here at this spot because... You know, I, during the daytime, people could see me more, and I end up dealing with more harassment. So I'm going to have to suffer for two hours in the cold and be tortured. And I have another job interview at five today. You know, see that per, narcissistic perp Dykes falsely accused me of living in luxury and say, oh, she'd be taking uh, cabs and stuff like that. I don't even take a cab all the time. You know, and when I was in that hotel, I hardly left to go anywhere. And then, you know, y'all saw the video when I did the Dollar Tree. I mean, when I went to Dollar Tree and they closed down on purpose. They want to manipulate us real targeted individuals into being forced to waste more money or spend more money when we don't need to. So, you know, they want to forcefully make things more expensive for us and unfair we have to be cheated out of our food and everything but then if we got to get cheated out of our food <coughs> excuse me we get cheated out of out of our food and then being forced to pay double what everybody else pays and, and then you know it's like they give us a specific different kind of treatment from the rest of society so you, you know I think some people at, are uneducated about this, either uneducated or undereducated about this gang stalking and stuff like that. Because, you know, you're not going to be truly targeted and actually mercilessly bully and, tor you know, torment another targeted individual. And I heard that is because they won't try to get you to become a perp too. And it's like, I'm not doing that. So it's like they're mad and angry because I'm trying to survive without selling out, without selling my soul, without becoming a perp. And I think that um, um, there's a lot less people on YouTube ever since COVID-19. And then, you know, I was wondering if more people were selling their souls or selling out. Excuse me. So, um, it seemed like my, my suspicions were confirmed. Now, I don't even know if, if they struggled so hard with the coronavirus thing, the uh, COVID-19, that they couldn't deal with it no more. And they took a deal and sold out. So, it's like, what have I done so horribly to be canceled? And muted, canceled from society. And, you know, they call me retarded and crazy. With no sense. And, you know, I don't, I don't have to owe anybody an explanation for, you know, my transportation, where I live at, what food I eat. None of that. And, and y'all the ones haven't donated shit. You haven't supported my books or none of that, you know. So you're not feeding or clothing me. You're not you're not doing shit for me except you know trying to make me die. That's all y'all trying to do. Y'all want me to die, and you know y'all hoping that I go burning. Y'all hoping that I burn in hell for eternity. No no mercy. Or respect or anything like that, you know. But today I have another job interview at 5 o'clock if this guy doesn't call me. And then, you know, I'm saying, fuck it, I'm going to find me. I mean, I have a little bit of money, enough money left um, for at least only one week, maybe. And, and then a little bit of food left. But that's all I got the money to do. But I have a job interview at, um, you know five o'clock and the you know, like everything's so late so you like in 
the buses don't run all the time, so sometimes you got no choice but to take a cab. I don't take a cab everywhere, and I don't take a cab every day, and I'm not living in luxury. You know, some whole months I don't even use the cab, but every now and then. But now I'm going to have to be forced to use the cab more because of, um, you know, me ban- being wrongfully banned from the buses and stuff. So... I'm sitting here, if it weren't for my sleep deprivation and the targeting, shucks, i will try to become a cab driver. <clears throat> but, um, maybe not, though. But, I, I mean, I said that, that $10,000 that I was trying to raise on GoFundMe was for a van to raise, like, people suggested that I raise money to live in a van or something like and for me to live and work in a van or start my own business or something like that. So, you know, <clears throat> Social Security Ticket to Work Program, I've tried those webinars. I've tried those whatever um, conferences or whatever online. And they didn't, they weren't much help. And then the, um, so, I mean, the uh, ticket to work counselor or the voc rehab counselor, I have to hear lectures about how nobody's going to hire me. So it's like they they trying to keep me down, trying to block me from getting ahead. They want me to stay totally down. So, I mean, my sleep last night, I got less sleep than I thought, and my sleep was spotty. And I had to wake up almost every hour to go pee. <clears throat> and and at one point, they, I think they were trying to force diarrhea me. <clears throat> and so, um, I'm going to have to be forced to stay outside until, like, close to 8 o'clock. I'll finally get a place to go be inside. And it won't even be warm because the building is cold in there. <clears throat> so, um... I mean, I'm just so hurt and devastated about how I'm forced to get treated and everything, you know. <clears throat> and, and and it's like, I guess I have to get used to it, being eliminated from everywhere because of the um, New World Order, you know. So, um... I'm sitting here trying to figure things out because, well, I know I can't stay here past, you know, it used to be seven, but now because of that incident that happened last year is the reason why I can't stay here past six. So I had to leave by no later than six in order to stay safe, you know, from harassment. It should be like, 5.43 5.43 right now. See that? But tell me, how come it's okay for the gang stalkers to target and traffic us and profit off of us, but we're not allowed to make our make or get money our own way? All the crooked ways they be hustling. But I'm not committing any crime to um, be trying to ask for help to stay out of the cold. It's still considered officially winter. And and Saturday, it's supposed to rain and then be 43 degrees. How the fuck y'all expect me to stay out there? I mean, stay out like that, you know? Oh, hold on. Oh. My knees hurt. I was kneeling on my knees on this concrete. Well, not straight concrete, but on my sleeping bag. Oh, I'm sorry for the noise harassment and high traffic. I need to get my words out. I need to get my story out and my feelings out. You know, so. It's like, how the hell are criminals going to be self-righteous and act like they monitor and watch and control everything you do and try to think they have the authority to, to punish you? 
I'm gonna keep saying the same thing over and over again until my voice gets fucking heard. Until my voice gets heard. I'm gonna keep saying the same thing. Y'all wanna talk about, oh, you say the same thing all over and over again in your videos. Well, don't watch them then. Stop perping me. Because you're not gonna get the control that you want out of me. You're not gonna succeed. Y'all devils are delusional. So, um... It's like these perps twist the truth on purpose. Narcissistic abusers and gang stalking perps twist the truth on purpose and then try to convince people to believe their lie about you. You know, y'all know damn well y'all compulsive liars. <clears throat> so, um, I think I only got. A couple of hours of sleep, a few hours, like maybe three hours of sleep last night. And I'm feeling the, the sleep deprivation feeling, and it's taking a toll on me. I haven't gotten to go eight days, and with, I mean, I ended up eight days without getting to take a bath. I feel like I have a diaper rash. Yeah, a diaper rash kind of feeling. Plus, my, um... Seem like my feet being athlete's foot is getting worse. <clears throat> so, um, I even looked this morning for jobs and housing on Craigslist. It wasn't much of nothing. Nothing for me. But, um, they have a couple of possible opportunities. Um, a couple of possible opportunities for me to go. But one place I'm hesitant of because it's in a bad neighborhood. And it's the building right next to where Janet used to live at. And so if I saw that guy from last year that threatened me and he was having the loud music, you know, I'm scared to go over in that area. So I might have to pick a different place to go to. But, I'm, you know, I'm still on the search for permanent housing. But, um, it's like I couldn't go to Orlando because if I would have gone Wednesday, I, the the trip was too expensive. The bus trip, the Greyhound bus. So, um. It's frosty, cold, and got nerd to be. Well, it's a little bit humid here. I'm, I mean, you know. But yeah, as a targeted individual, they try to twist the narrative of your suffering and the fact that you try to live normal. And then it's okay for them to have luxury, but then they act like as if they, if, like they act like as if the good that they get, like their nice cars and stuff. And and houses and and gift cards and stuff come from honest, hard, diligent work. But no, perping people is not honest, hard, diligent work. The fact you're destroying people's life and making them suffer. And so, for me to have look, for, for, they hate me so much that for me to have potted meat and Vienna sausages is too luxury for them because they think I deserve as a punishment to starve. Now, I don't even deserve Vienna sausage and potted meat or nothing like that. That's too luxury because they, they, don't, they don't want me to eat at all. Stale bread is too luxury for me. I mean, I mean according to them because they, they want me to starve. So, it's not fair for them to um, falsely accuse me of eating good and eating in luxury. When I'm showing people about how, you know, I got cheated out of my food and been abused and stuff like that. And so, I mean, we got to eat. And I've been spending my SSI and Social Security money, you know, on eating out when I'm on the streets. I've been numerous times, you know, numerous times me trying to, um, I, I mean that I have not asked for any money, you know, for asked for help. And then it's like they treat me like I committed a crime 
and act like they have the authority to, to force me to stop asking for help and asking for money. Knowing, I mean, I've explained my situation too many times and they don't care. They just want me to die. They want me to die. They don't want me to live. So, I mean, they're going to be, they're going to lie and say, oh, ain't nobody, don't nobody, ain't nobody trying to murder you, dumbass. Or, you know, say stuff like, oh, ain't nobody trying to kill you. Or don't, don't nobody want you to die except yourself. You know, them trying to gaslight and stuff. So, I'm, um, it's now 5.50. And I should have taken advantage of, I mean, but I knew I wasn't going to get to sleep. Because it, by it being after five o'clock, me feeling nervous that um, I have to be feel nervous like I have to stay up because of fear of if I did relax and go to sleep and then I would, you know, have fear of oversleeping. So I didn't want to get caught up in oversleeping. Excuse me. So, I mean... Next week is supposed to be a little warmer, but I don't even care if I can just stay in a hotel or cheap motel for the next, like, at least three days. If I can stay in a hotel or motel at least three days, you know, with my social security and SSI money, you know, trying to stay warm because it's still too cold. And this weekend is supposed to be very cold. Like tomorrow and Sunday is supposed to be in the like in the early forties again. Tonight is supposed to be cold. So I mean, y'all, I already told y'all, y'all know about me being banned from the um winter shelter. I mean, how just people are being mean and abusive for no reason at all and taking advantage of their so-called fake power and authority that they that that they they shouldn't have been placed. Like, narcissistic abusers should be banned from authority positions. They should. You know, and a lot of them trying to exercise control, and they don't have that authority or right to try to punish or police you and stuff like that. And I'm tired of people treating me like a mental patient and treating me like I'm super slow and retarded. They need to just leave us the fuck alone. Stop harassing us. You're not gonna call yourself really targeted and you, and all you do is harass people. Y'all get paid big bucks to harass us. And, you know, not mind your fucking business. And, and then, you know, you treat me like I'm committing a crime. And I'll say fuck social security. And fuck, you know, voc rehab and, you know, all, all, they have, haven't done much and nothing for fucking help or nothing like that. You, you know, I'm being blocked from trying to better myself. You know, for me to try to get basic roof over my head with freaking, um, you know, warmth and stuff, it seems like even the landlords don't even want you to be warm. You know, if I have a place to rent, and that's why I can't and don't want to live up north, because if I go have to live in Chicago in the snow and then... You know, the landlord wouldn't want to fix the heat. And that's dangerous. And they don't care if I die of hypothermia or anything like that. So I'm going to go now. At least for a while because I'm going to upload this video and probably, you know, do some more talking. So I'll see y'all in a while. Bye.